Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to run WhatsApp into a full automated sales assistant using anything and Google Sheets. So let me show you how it works. So for example, let's say you have a customer and you are not available to answer his message and your WhatsApp bot will be answering while you are not there. So for example, if you do hi, let's see. You see it's reply and ask you, may I know please your name and how can I help you? Let me say, my name is Stacy. My name is Stacy. And I want to ask if you have hoodies. Okay, so let me ask. And the bot will go and check in the Google Sheet, the file where we be written if we have those stock in the stock. And you see now we see like for size M you have eight hoodies, and for size L you have twelve. Would you like to place another? Okay, let me place another. I would like to have two hoodies of size. L okay. Wait, wait. Okay, you see, Grace Stacy, I placed an order for two hoodies of size L. Your order is uh, odd one two three five, and the status is pending. We will process it shortly. Is there anything else can I help with you? So you can even ask. Uh, I want to learn. I want to know if my order is shipped yet. Okay. So we go and check the status of your order. Now he's asking which order. Then he's asking me the order ID. And then we do this one. Okay. And sure it will send me it will tell me it's pending because it's the order we just made not there. Let's wait. You see now it's actually pending. So now this is the video we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do today. So stay with me. And if you are not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. It helps me a lot. Okay, let's start. Okay, now you open your MFA. Yeah, okay. The first thing we need to do, we need a WhatsApp trigger. Uh, this is how our bot listen to the incoming messages. So you go to anything and add note, search for WhatsApp. Okay. And uh, we go here on messages. Okay. Here you will need credential. So I showed in my previous video how to get the credential for WhatsApp. You feel free to watch it if you haven't watched it. Okay. So now we have the WhatsApp trigger. Secondly, we need to add the AI agent. This is the brain of our bot. Uh, let's open it. Here we go again here and search for AI agent. Uh, and. Uh, that's it we added it okay so it will need a llm so me i'm gonna use gemini you can use open eye you can use deep seek whatever suits you again here you have to add your credential your api key okay i will need a memory let me use a simple memory so here i will just write here it doesn't matter what to write so let me just put memory. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, now we have the memory. Our agent put for the AI agent to be able to remember what have been talked previously. Now we need tools. What are the tools that we're going to give to the AI? So, uh, the first tool which is it's about Google Sheets. Okay, the first tool which will be check inventory. Okay. So to be able to check uh, in our inventory was there. Okay. First, let me show you our Google Sheet. Okay. Let me open the sheet. This one is here. Okay. I hope it's this one. Yes. So you see product and inventory. This is where it will ask if there is T-shirt, hoodies, mug, notebook, the available stock, the prices. Okay. So now, here if we're checking the check inventory, so maybe like check inventory, okay. Now uh, we will do the get row. Here also you need credential. So in if you also to go to watch, go watch my video on how to get credential for Google Sheet, if you don't know how to do it. And here we're gonna click on get row because we need to get row. And from which file? This one. The just the one I just showed you now. And uh, the second is we 
as I showed you, I have two sheets. This is the first sheet about the product, and the second sheet is about the orders. Uh, this was just the order I just made uh, in the video in the beginning of the video. Okay. So now here we will use this one, product and inventory. Okay. So this one we are done with it. The second one will be uh, place an order to place an order. I want to customer place an order, so we're gonna open again the sheet. Uh, here it doesn't change so but here we do sorry append the row okay it will be again this one but now because it's orders so we select the sales order okay so for the order id uh, we tell the the ai to fill it by itself but for example, to customer name, customer phone, product name, size, quantity, order status, and order date, uh, will be fed, fed by the, the, the bot, our bot. So automatically, I will show you how to, it's working. Don't worry. And uh, now we need the chart. Um, let's do the get order status. To get the status of orders okay for example when uh, sorry that is okay so here is also get a row but now we use this one okay because we want to know the status of orders that's why i selected this one okay and it's important to give them the, the good names so that uh, the ai will be and we understand it so that's why i have to change the name of this one it was place in order okay let me just do like this okay now we need another one for updating order okay so do again to the sheet here we update the order okay and uh, here it's also to be updates row and like this and we choose say uh, and uh, we will do again like let the model feel automatically wait i think those four tools are enough uh, we can add more tools for example delete uh, or for example yeah we can exactly for example add delete orders or whatever the idea that come in your mind okay and finally we need to send a response back to the customer right uh, so we need to add a whatsapp send message note so how to do it let's go on whatsapp send message okay uh, here we need the recipient num phone number and the send number so don't worry we will fill it after right, one minute let me deactivate it i will activate it after so now this is our workflow but we still have many things to do uh, that's why we need to do first the test to see how it's working okay let me save it okay now it's saved let me do uh, execute workflow to see where how it's working okay let's start again uh, let me delete the previous messages let me clear the chat okay now let me do like this okay now let me say for example again hi okay see the message came from here with a trigger 
but here the AI agent we got an error so what the problem here we have to give him the message that is coming from the customer so that's why we have to change here we do define below and we go here in whatsapp trigger you see whatsapp trigger and on messages what the body text body is what we take and give the message to the AI agent so that it get the message from the uh, customer and now there's something I forgot to tell you we also have to give the assistant message to the AI to tell him what is his job what he has to do so I have it ready I will copy I just copy and paste it and uh, don't worry I will put the all the workflow in my description to for you to be able to get it so this is the message so as we would let's read you are an assistant managing uh, whatsapp says bot your job is to understand customer messages and decide which google sheets you need to resume you see there's check inventory place order uh update order get order statue so this one delete we do not need so let me remove it okay so and this for example you give him the example do you have t-shirt size let me check our stock for t-shirt size m this is an example customer ask this question and the AI agent will respond like this okay so now we have our system message okay now let's uh, run this one now we we'll run it now the message is going here okay what is the answer of the AI agent i said hi and he said hello there welcome to our whatsapp sales bot may i please know your name and how can i assist you today okay the, the message but you can see in the phone i did not get the message because this is the same message is deactivated so let me activate it and let me solve the problems so now the phone number from the reception we get it here uh, it's this one like contact profile this is his name and this is the number let me paste it here okay and uh, okay this is the sender phone number for us this is our number as you see this is the number we already have this is the number who's going to send the message and what is the answer we are we going to send to the customer is the one like we got from the ai agent here output and we bring it here okay so now it's okay let me run this one so when I will execute the step, I'm expecting to get the message back. You see now, I got the message back. Okay, so now the three, all of those three are working. So let me say, and now we need to check if the tools are working. Check inventory first. Let me use uh, test the check inventory. So let me ask him like, do you have? First, he also asked my name, so I have to uh, to answer the name so that when I will make an order, he will be able to save my name okay so check the inventory so let me ask him do you have t-shirts no let me say first my name is Stacy and I want it to ask you if you have t-shirts okay oh wait I did not execute the workflow okay let me copy and paste it okay now let me run it now it's running so you see it's checking on the inventory so we go here and check if we have in the inventory if we have t-shirts we say we have t-shirts one from size m and the other one from size a okay let's see the message you see we got the message we said uh, the one from size m the other one from size a okay would you like to know anything else or perhaps place an order so now let's test the place order if it's work let me also execute again okay and let me say like i want two t-shirts okay of size m please okay let's run so now it's we okay so you can see just asking for the phone number so let's read the phone number uh, let me just do like plus one 
like this okay now so this is because when we get hold to order we can reach him uh, the customer so he, he give his information so let me execute again and send the message now you see he's placing the order okay he said excellent your order for two t-shirts or size m has been successfully placed your order is uh, ord 1239 okay is there anything else you can help so now let's try to get the order status so i want to know the status of my order of my order or we can even ask is my let me try like uh, nylon if my order is shipped yet okay so now i will just run again it's running but now he want to make sure like what is your order id so what is my order id i will just say like uh it, it is this one let me do like this one give him the order id that use this one we just have it now the order let me this one so let me save it let me first run run this one execute the flow okay now let me run it so now it is placed so it's kind of this the uh, the status as we can see here or the id is this one and it is placed okay we have even the order date okay so now uh, that's it uh, your WhatsApp sales bot powered by MTN, Google Sheets, and AI. Uh, this setup saves you hours of manual work, eliminating mistakes, and makes order management simple and seamless. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for my automation tutorials, and let me know in the comment what kind of workflows would you like me to greet next. Thank you for those uh, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.